Mark C is asking, uh, this is a short one here, but I like this. Mark, Mark C asked, should seasoned drummers ever go back to basics? Why or why not? So I think my short answer would be yes. Seasoned, experienced, even professional drummers sometimes have to go back to basics. But it's not, it's not always that, that simple. I, I do think that you can sometimes go back to basics and waste your time, that, that people might, might do that, and it doesn't actually give them very much of a benefit. You know, For example, you know, going back and practicing like your standard paradiddles at 50, 60, 70 p.m., if you've been able to do that for 10 or 15 years or 20 plus years, I don't really see the point of that level of repetition. You could certainly go back and focus on amending your technique slightly or crank the speed and really work on your fluidity with that particular rudiment. So there's like like fixtures within the skill set that you could sort of tweak around, but I think for the most part, a lot of the idea of like going back to basics for a really seasoned drummer, you're going to do it for a very specific reason. And you're asking, you know, why would you do that or why not? So why is is what I want to focus on. Why would somebody go back to the basics? I think this is something that drum teachers encounter a lot, especially if it's not a brand new drummer. If it's someone who's been playing for a few years and then they hit some walls in their playing and they said, well, I need to go you know, get a drum teacher, maybe go back to basics. That's so, that's, that's a huge part of the job of drum teachers is taking people back to the thing they originally learned and saying, well, hey, you didn't quite learn this the right way. You skipped some steps or you formed some bad habits. And now we're going to have to undo and rearrange a lot of these things that you have going on. Oftentimes technique is a big one for that, right? People just intuitively figured out what to do with technique, but that, that doesn't mean you're anywhere near perfect, right? There's always some corrections to be made in the technique domain. And I think seasoned drummers are not immune from this, right? I mean, if, I've been playing drums like going on 20 years now, and it would be really egotistical and, and seemingly foolish for me to say that I have no bad habits, that I learned everything correctly the first time that I learned it. Like, who am I to say that? Like, that's probably not true. You get somebody with a with a higher level technique than me, and they could easily point out some things. Say, hey, how long have you been been doing this with your pinky? Like, oh, well, that's wrong, and you've been doing it for twenty years. Like, we all have things like that. So, um, it, it's it's definitely contextual. A lot of it is what your goals are. You know, if you had a goal, let's just say to have single strokes that were like unbelievably fast. You know, you might have to do a deep dive on your technique. Not that there's anything inherently wrong with with your tech, like your wrist technique or your finger technique. But if you want to get to the next level, we're going to have to be really detail oriented about what exactly you're doing with your fulcrum, with your um, leveraging your fingers. Like you might have to open technique back up again as a seasoned drummer if you had a goal um, that was just a really tall order, right? It's just, it's just a very difficult thing to figure out. So that could be the case for sure. I also think that you can be a specialist in specific things and leave out some of the other basics. So for example, if I were to really just say that I want to learn like Latin jazz, I want to learn Latin jazz. For me, as a professional drummer with almost 20 years of playing experience, I'm going back to basics there because it's relative to to the specific thing that I want to learn, right? So I didn't do any of the basics in Latin jazz. I was never interested in that. And if I became interested in it, by all means, I'm going back to like a novice beginner level. I need the same lesson that you would give to, to a third or a fourth grader who wanted to learn that. I need the exact same lesson. So it's relative to exactly what you're studying and all of that seasoning that you have. You know, it might have been really specific to a specialized thing, right? If you played speed metal for 20 years, well, you're going to need a beginner's 101 lesson for jazz dynamics. You just are. So there are definitely some circumstances where a seasoned professional um, or just let's just say an advanced drummer would have to go back to basics. But I think it's just going to be hyper, hyper personalized. That's for sure. And the last thing I'll say about this concept of you know, advanced drummers going back to basics is that oftentimes you might not be the person who is able to determine whether or not you should do that. It's really hard to be objective about yourself and your own playing, your own skill level, your own strengths and your own weaknesses, which is where a drum teacher comes in. A lot of times it's much easier for someone who is at your skill level or a little bit higher than your skill level to assess your playing and say, hey man, I really think 
that what might help you here is doing something like this. And I've realized this as I've you know, again, play drums for almost two decades now. When I see someone who's played drums for six, seven, eight, nine years, I mean, they could still, by all definitions, be like an advanced drummer, right? They could have learned tons of different concepts, patterns, rudiments, um, have a whole arsenal of, of grooves and musical concepts under their belt. But I can now begin to see things in their playing that I remember, where I go, oh, you're doing that sort of thing. Like, okay. So let's go back a little bit. How long have you been doing that? Like, okay, let's try and tweak this thing a little bit because I see where you're going and I can save you a little bit of time. This is what drum teachers do. This is the job that we signed up for, right? And it's one of the more fun parts about the job. Uh, but, but I would say to anybody who is in that posi position, you're a seasoned or, or a more upper level intermediate or an advanced drummer. You've got some time under your belt playing this instrument and you're wondering, should I go back to basics, should I ever revisit uh, basic technique or basic rudiments or basic theory? A lot of times you're just not the person to answer that question, but um, another drummer, preferably a drum teacher, someone with an educational background, they can answer it for you. And they could say, hey, if you're gonna revisit the old stuff, here's what would serve you best, here's the thing that I see you could go back and work on a little bit. So yeah, get another set of eyes on it and that might, uh, that might make things a lot clearer for sure. Thank you for watching this clip from the Orlando Drummer Podcast. And while I have you for the next 20 seconds, I'd like to formally invite you to come check out orlandodrummer.com. It is my online drum school, very much in the style of Netflix. And there you'll find over 160 hours of content waiting for you. That's like over 50 drum DVDs. Trust me, you will find something you like, and it would be my honor to help make you a better drummer. Free seven-day trial at the link in the description. I will see you guys there.